Dibbidi bop, do bop, do bop. Ship shap, dibbidi bop, do bop, do bop. Skit scat, scally wag, ribbity rap, your wiggity rack. I'm flipping it back, the flap, I'm singing the scat, ripping the rap, daring the step, a cat in the hat, no attack, trumpet brass and sacks. Pumping shrubs with the bumpers of ass. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Scars and Whiskey for our next review. Today's review is a cigar that was actually released uh, in the Christmas season, but you know I didn't get to it until now, uh, so I'm still going to do my review. Uh, you may be able to still find them some places, but it was a limited seasonal release. Uh, the cigar is the CAO Gold Nasty Nutcracker. Now this was a uh, release by General Cigar Company commemorating the Christmas season, and it was in limited amounts. Uh, so this is a six and a half by 52 featured uh, features a tweaked wrapper binder and filler uh, price on that cigar was about eight dollars uh, and the limit was they released it November 1st of 2014 about 2,000 boxes of 14 which is roughly 28,000 cigars stay tuned for the pre-construction pre-light you can see that the uh, wrapper is very golden brown and smooth to the touch. Very little tooth or oil at presence in it at all. And the band you can see covers almost the whole cigar. And it is done with a featured nasty nutcracker illustration, which I really dig. But the uh, pre light, you're getting uh, slight peppery. Uh, smell leather earth cedar and uh, even maybe on the cold draw it's bringing a little creamy peanut with uh, earth and hay uh, stay tuned for the first third welcome back everybody to the first third of our cigar review today for the nasty nutcracker by CAO uh, in the first third we get uh uh, flavors of peanut, leather, earth, cedar, and hay, with a creamy base on the on the uh, on the smoke, and on the retro hell, uh, we're starting to get a slight peppery taste. But so far, for the first third that I've had, uh, you know, it's a very good cigar. It is a CAO Gold. Uh, I don't know if it's exactly the same blend they put in the regular golds and they just changed it up for this uh, limited edition or they slightly modified it. Fortunately, they don't reveal a lot of the information of what's in it. And I don't know if they're doing that just to get you to be interested and buy it or it's the same cigar and they just rewrapped it. But stay tuned for the second third. Welcome back everybody and we're into our second third of our review of the CAO Gold Nasty Nutcracker, a limited edition cigar from Christmas. On the second third, there's a significantly more amount of pepper on the retro hell, along with additions of some spice on the tongue. It seems to be getting stronger. Uh, we're still getting the grass, the nuts flavor, leather, barnyard, and starting to get a little bit of coffee, like bitter coffee. And the smoke is starting to become more, uh, more than it was previous. We got some smoke, but now it's starting to, when you take it, uh, dry, it gets real, real strong smoke. And interesting is I am getting hints of, seems like peppermint. So I don't know if they added that or it's just my imagination. Uh, the only thing I could say is you can see the burn is uneven. And even at this point here, it started a mouse hole, uh, which for those who aren't familiar with that term, it means that you'll be smoking it above the burn line, you'll get the, a small circle. And sometimes that's reference to the types of fillers and binders they use with larger vein. If, they, if, the, if the ash starts to burn up the vein versus through the tobacco. Stay tuned for the final third. Welcome back everybody for the final third of our review today of the CAO uh, Nasty Nutcracker. In the final third, the flavors have stayed the same sweet cedar cream leather hay coffee and I'm still getting on the retro hell a little bit of that peppermint now I don't know if that's just me again thinking that's what it tastes like but that's what it seems like with the sweetness the only concern I would have would be the construction uh, it still burns very uneven throughout the cigar and I'm not sure if it's just me or it's just the way the cigar burns 
Uh, it was released in 2014. It is now September of 2015, but I don't think it should change that much. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. Always leave your comments. Thanks again for tuning in to Scars and Whiskey. Have a great day, have a great smoke, and we'll see you next time.